Hi, welcome to my channel, I'm Perfect Woman of God. Um, today I'm going to talk about Joshua Holmes. I keep seeing a lot of videos about it, which is strange, right? But obviously God's trying to send something because not a few weeks ago, because you know I've been working, so that was a few weeks ago. Um, I woke up randomly and I kept having a song go through my head. It's weird, right? I don't know. Anything weird in general, I mean, anything you talk about the Lord, it comes off as if it's weird for, in general for just normal people, I guess. No, but I can't let, I don't, usually you know how you drive and y'all listen to music, but I keep hearing this song, um, it's called Tania, it's a Leave It Smoking. It was like, leave it smoke and fire, 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 leave it smoke. It's very lusty and it keeps talking about smoke. And some strange reason, uh, Joshua Holmes um, name in my head, it was like the middle of the night, it was very random, kept um, popping up in my head. Um, obviously it's serious, um, people. Um, Joshua Holmes definitely is a false prophet and I feel like he's messing with a lot of demonic spirits. Um, and he's playing around with God, you know, dancing on dancing on money you know only reason why i know this because the reason why i found out about him because my mom showed a video to me about him which is real right but i watched the video before i even seen her video i already watched i seen his in the timeline he kept popping up some short injuries so i'm like who is this joshua holmes and he just he's when the first time honestly the first time i looked at him this is not on no gossip situation but the first time i usually go off i guess vibes or something but the first time i seen him he just gave me this um i wouldn't I'm gonna be honest, he gave me this gay vibe about him. Um, it's weird, I live in Atlanta, so I've been around a lot of gay people. You know, you get that vibe from people. I'm getting that vibe from him. And if he's not gay, he just got that pretty boy thing about him, you know? And I see why a woman would lust after him or want him because his pretty eyes and whatever. But if you're not into looks, you wouldn't give a man the time of day. Um, he clearly comes off like he's just out here just pimping and I'm sure having sex with some of those women in the church and me, honestly, I'm coming with concern. I'm concerned for his soul and not to gossip and slander him. But I'm just, uh, I'm concerned for his soul because I feel like he really thinks he's doing something. And something tells me that if he keeps this up, he's going to end up going to hell for real. And it's like, it's not a joke like I tell people in my video one time I was crying. But it's not a joke. You will go to hell if you keep doing wrong, your wrongdoings and sinning. Um, he's playing with spirits and he has a lot of lust going on with him. You know, he be cursing. He'll talk about God and just be cursing or talk about sex. Like, yeah, and when, he'll just say vaginas, you know, just a little crazy little stuff. And I'm like, whoa, how are you a pastor talking about sex like that? Like, this dude likes sex, clearly. Like, he liked him some sex. Like, he legit was just like, he reminds me of a, uh, dang, what his name? He's the singer. Dang, I forgot his name. Tyreek? No, not Tyreek. Diedrich. Diedrich Hammond, whatever his name is. Diedrich. Yep, Diedrich. He reminds me of him. I swear, it's like if they both could sit in a room together, I feel like they will be talking for hours. Him and his wife, and Joshua Home and his wife. I swear, like so weird. It's weird. It's just dying to me. Like so, people go watch Diedrich Hammond, whatever his name is. He's a singer. I swear to God, they both seem very similar. Except Diedrich does not play with spirits, but this one right here, he playing with spirits and he lusty just like Diedrich. I swear to God, like they both have similarities. Like they come off like, they both are false prophets for sure. And they all kind of live like doing what they want to do. You know, they have sex and they have sex out of marriage and I'm sure they have, I'm sure he has also. And you know, they just talk about sex like it ain't nothing. They don't feel bad about having sex and they're not married. and. They don't feel bad sinning and they don't feel bad of cursing and talking about the Lord. It just seems a lot of corruption going on. Yes, Diedrich and him seem very, I wouldn't even say similar, but just the way they carry themselves in a way. They have that uh, pretty boy thing about them too. And Diedrich, he don't play with spirits, but you know, he just is lost at the next one, honestly, just like him. You know, I feel like they both need to not be pastors at all, honestly, and just find God their own way, you know. Did you, I think he was meant to be a singer, but he's using his voice in the wrong way. I feel like he needs to work on a relationship with the Lord also. So when it comes down to Joshua Holmes, yes, he's a false prophet. And the woman, and when I watch the videos of the woman, they seem very brainwashed, um, full of lust. Like, I can tell they're lusting after that man. Like, they want that man so bad. That's why they dare. They just be lusting after him. You know how, like... The superstars, when they sing and stuff, and people lust and want them, and like Beyonce, people lust and want her. That's pretty much what they do with Joshua Holmes, and it's like, it's a cult, and they're just wrapped up in it. 
And I just pray I, one day that they just wake up. And I pray for Joshua Holmes also and for Diedrich, these type of people. Like, I'm worried for them. It's more of me, me being worried for them and not gossiping and knocking them so down to the floor. But really just I'm worried for them because obviously God wants us all to be worried for these type of people that are leading people astray. And they don't, honestly, I feel like Diedrich really doesn't mean any harm. But he keeps letting the devil like to blind him also, just like Joshua Holmes. And they keep using their own selfish gain or whatever they're getting out of it. They're using that and taking advantage of that. And it's not right. But they do need prayer. So pray, pray for Joshua Holmes. And the people know who I'm talking about, Diedrich, whatever his name is, and his wife. Oh, Lord, they definitely need some prayer. Like so lost and can't be found like it is like they're it's like the, the blind leading the blind like it says in the bible it really is like they both are just blind and he is messing with de demonic devils and stuff he's on a whole different level he needs to like stop for real he's playing with the devil you know dancing on money and stuff god don't you know you would never see jesus dancing on money so that's just a hot mess on its own honestly but at the same time i've been to churches that have done the same thing that he had he has done and no one talks about them also. If you're going to talk about Joshua Holmes, you need to talk about a lot of these churches in Atlanta. And a lot of these churches are just in general that do the same thing they do. You know, it's a hot mess. Looking like pimps in suits. I mean, seriously. That's, it is what it is. You know, and full of it. So, that's all I have to say about Joshua Holmes. That fire keeps popping up in my head when it comes down to him. And if he doesn't turn away from his ways, he will go to hell, unfortunately. And that's just for all of us. So let's not act as if we are not perfect. Let's not, I mean, let's not act as if we are perfect, if that makes sense. Like, as if we don't have something we need to work on. So let's all pray for each other and wish nothing for the best for each other, honestly. Because we all are going to be head on one day talking to God. And if, like, like, I, like I tell people, if your heart is not in it, God knows and you will go straight to hell. <laughs> I'm sure people are like, whoa, my God, she's so cold. she's so straightforward with I have to be because it's like somebody has to be on this TV on this YouTube and be honest with people and be like, if you don't get it right, you will go. Like, get this heart right here right. Like, it's okay to like people be working on so focused on the outer. Yeah, you may appear to be modest or appear to be this, you know, good person or whatever, but if your heart's not in it, it doesn't matter. So heart got to be our way in it also that's all I have to say about Joshua Holmes pray for the man pray for yourself you know he's messing with spirits he needs to lead on spirits alone just like Beyonce lead on spirits alone a lot of folks messing with spirits stop messing with the spirits what is that? folks are messing with the demonic spirits I mean please stop messing with these spirits I just I don't even like messing with spirits I don't like messing with demonic spirits I don't like stuff that's weird like that I can't ooh. No, that's just me, I guess. I don't know. People get wrapped in it. I'm, Lord, lead them spirits and demonic spirits alone. Like, are you serious? Like, come on, people. How do you not know something's wrong? Anything good of the Lord, you'll know that's good. You know, so you know what's wrong and what's evil. Stop playing games, people. It's messing with no spirits, man. Shoot, you need all the prayer in the world messing with them spirits. That's all I got to say.